Hi guys, it's the headphone addict.com here, uh, and in this video, I'm going to do a uh, review of my um, tube amplifier, tube headphone amplifier. It's um, a tube amp from a company called Wu Audio, which operates in the United States. Uh, these amps are made in New York uh, and I believe that the founder Jack Wu is the one who built these amps uh, they have uh, extreme success at least if you use uh, HeadFi as a proxy um, at HeadFi.org I think they have like an appreciation thread which has in the thousands of posts and uh, it seldom comes up in the classifieds which should tell you that people who own these amps don't regularly sell them so uh, that's a great proxy to use if you think if you wonder if these are of high quality uh, to say a little bit about this amp um, I ordered it for about four months ago I believe and I had to wait for about two months so they have pretty long lead times uh, given the extreme success that this small company has had uh, the retail on it they sell they exclusively sell them uh, on their website which is you find a link in the description box it's wooaudio.com uh, and they sell this unit uh, with the stock tubes which you can see here for uh, 1050 bucks but then you have shipping and then you have uh, a PayPal fee of 3.5% so I believe all in all I paid around $1250 for it delivered or something in the vicinity of that. Uh, I also changed the, the diode from blue which I think is a bit China cheap an amber or orange diode and that cost me an additional 20 bucks uh, to talk a little bit more about the amp um, uh, the amp comes with uh, a high impedance output and a low impedance output uh, my volume knob goes continuously but you can also uh, order a stepped attenuator which means that uh, you turn the volume up in increments uh, to avoid difference in balance but it has not been a problem with my unit so I'm happy with the uh, continuous volume knob I do not believe I need the stepped attenuator also my tube uh, comes with the uh, standard uh, rectifier and uh, the standard uh, driver tube so as I mentioned in the beginning of the review, I am not. Uh, I'm new to tube amps, and I'm not started tube rolling yet. But straight out of the box with the stock tubes and the stock rectifier and everything, this amp um, is very, very, very good. It's not a standard tube amp. You you don't get what you normally would think you would get with a tube amp for uh, the tube-like sound. I think that. Uh, the WA22 uh, is a much more tubey amp than this is uh, this is a transformer coupled amp and it's really 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 great uh, to say a little bit more about the uh, high impedance and low impedance Wu Audio says that the low impedance output should be used for headphones which uh, range from 8 ohm 200 ohms and from 100 ohms upward to 600 ohms you should use the high impedance output uh, there has been measurements saying that um, I believe that this was something like 50 ohms uh, output impedance but I have only seen that data one place and if you listen to the NWAV guy uh, he says that the output impedance should be at least 
eight times less than your headphones meaning that if this is 50 your headphones should be around eight times that now I'm really uncertain if the output impedance was measured to 50 ohms here I think I have to pause and um, I'll put whatever this was uh, I'll put it in the description box I'll put what this was measured to uh, it comes with two line ins RCA connectors which you can see on the background back side so here you've got I think you can see that yeah here you've got the uh, switch if you want to use uh, input 1 or input 2 and also you have this connector from the power supply which is this unit and the amplifier which is this unit uh, what more is there to say really uh, just let me hang this thing I'm recording this using a webcam so and trying to place the webcam on top of a cardboard box so a little shaky unfortunately uh, well what more is there to say yeah uh, I can turn it on for you so you can see how it operates uh, it's got a uh, high quality click to it when you turn it on as you can hear and now the tubes starts warming up don't know if you can see that but as you can see they're lighting up and they should have about I believe they should warm up for about 10 minutes or so before you start playing it because uh, the amp runs much smoother when uh, it has um, when it's uh, warmed up I think that in the user manual it says that you shouldn't operate it continuously for more than eight hours at a time but I believe that that's something we'll put in there to avoid people from having the amp turned on and leaving it for long periods of uh, time without uh, supervision due to fire safety etc I've uh, had this uh, amp turned on for about 14-15 uh, hours continuously without any problems and I think that uh, when it's warm enough that these knobs are warm then it really starts sounding good it uh, has a very warm feel to it it uh, has a lot of power as you can uh, see in the um, user's manual so it can drive most headphones very well uh, also you can tweak the sound signature you want by changing out the rectifier uh, changing out the driver tubes uh, so that's something i'm going to do later and i'm going to make videos about which combination of tubes and rectifiers i like for my preferences uh, other than that I don't think there's really much more to say than um, that it has a lot of punch a lot of detail good separation uh, it has great bass extension I love this with my uh, uh, Denon D7000s I also own the, the LCD2 uh, revision 2 and uh, had that running on this and it was really really amazing I recently sold those to get a pair of revision ones because the revision ones are a bit warmer sounding and so I'd like to try those and if the revision one LCD 2s um, are worse or worse than the uh, revision 2 so I'm going to sell them and get revision 2s again and also uh, contemplating getting a pair of uh, LCD 3s so uh, it's a pretty expensive hobby uh, when it comes to audio I would recommend it very much it's a great uh, amplifier and um, I've had this now for about two months uh, and I use it every single day uh, for most of my headphones 
I'm also contemplating getting uh, the WA22 and WA2. Uh, the WA2 was the one I mentioned earlier, which were more, much more 2B amp. Uh, while the WA2 is um, a balanced amp, they also have cheaper amps like the WA6, which is this one's little brother, uh, that doesn't have a standalone um, or uh, that doesn't have a separate uh, power supply, but uh, and looks much more like this. Uh, only it's having a rectifier back here, and. Uh, that has gotten rave reviews so i don't think you can go, go wrong with these amps and given that they're sold uh, directly from the manufacturer i also believe that you get a really good price on them because they're not a large distribution chain where everybody tries to skim some money off the top of the price so i believe that if you invest around thousand two thousand bucks in one of these amps you're getting your money worth and then some so my plan is essentially to start tube rolling with this and get a feel for tubes uh, get to know the tube industry a little more and then uh, probably buying a WA22 or a WA2 um, most likely the WA2, which you can also use as a pre-amplifier as, as it has pre-out via RCA, uh, whereas the uh, WA22 uh, can have an XLR, XLR balanced output um, XLR balanced output for uh, a small addition to the price. Uh, it's an upgraded kit, so. I uh, recommend you to go to the w uh, Woo Audio website and have a look at these great amps because you can't go wrong with these things. So thanks for watching, have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs>